Hello great people, African Travel again. So guys, today I'm going to take you back to Eastlands and uh, this time I'm going to one of the you know oldest residential area in Eastlands. You know, this area is uh, were built as early as 1960s, uh, before even Kenya gained independence. And these estates have some of the most, you know, amazing stories that uh, has ever been written in the country. You know, these are areas that have created uh, big leaders like some of our president, uh, President Kenya, uh, President Kibaki. You know, uh, some of the best lawyers in the country, some of you know, chief justice, some of the best talent musician. Most of this come from this area, and uh, this is the reason why we're just going to the old areas and just going to get the stories, not from us, but we're going to uh, get more of these stories from the locals. So, yeah. So today we're going to start with Jericho. You know, we're going to pass Buruburu, and uh, right, right now I'm in a in an estate called Chechami. Yeah. So I have this good friend of mine. It's called Big Ben. Yeah, what's yeah. up, my people? Yeah, so, Jenny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Big Ben yeah. was one who was like, "Hey, come and take you around Eastland. There are so many stories that are never really covered in a way yeah, exactly. that you do." And so I told him, "Okay, let's make something." So guys, I hope you guys will enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And Ben, thank yeah. you. Say hello to Kwapi Apa. Hello to Co Government Quarters Phase Two. Yeah. Yeah, we in Chachami yeah. along Jogo Road. So yeah. guys, visit. If you're a foreigner, visit. Yeah, yeah. welcome. To enjoy. Yeah. Uh, so, so guys, see you on the other side. Yo, great people. So my first interview, as I told you, I'm going to meet with Musa. Musa, mm -hmm. welcome to our channel. Thank you. So Musa, you've been to in Jericho for how many years? Well, I've been in Jericho since 1973. That is 49 years. Wow. So all your life you've lived. All my life I've lived here, I've married here, have children here. Wow. So I'm good. Wow, so you, you've seen like Jerry change to what it is today. I've and seen Jerry in Nairobi itself. Since that time when you grew, yeah. um, I school in this area, I school known as Kabairo Primary School. Yeah. So I did my KCP in 1989. Okay. I went for my father education. Yeah. Um, my secondary school. So I've been in Jericho all that time. So Jerry was built around the. It was built around 1959, okay. but people started settling these houses around 1962. So, so the, the construction of the area started 1969? 1959. 1959. It was built by the Israels. Okay. So that's why you can see these names, Jericho, oh, Jerusalem. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, so these names, these names. Jericho, Jerusalem, yeah. is because they were built by the Israels? The Israels. These houses Israel, don't Israelite. have any foundation. Wait a minute, what? They don't have any foundation. You can How? move this house. They are just built uh -huh. on a pillar, stuck on that thing. You can move this house. Wait, want. really? Yeah. Like I can change the you house? You can change the house. You, you can change it. You don't have pillar. You don't have any foundation. They just built. Wow, wow, that is so very interesting. It's interesting. And since areas. 1960, until right now, the, the houses are still strong. Or the houses are still strong. So back then, these houses were built for what purpose exactly? Okay, they were built for civil servants. Mm -hmm. um, mostly they were the civil servants who were being built these houses, like teachers, you know, industrialists. So in these areas, um, like this area. So initially, initially, it was a civil servant area. It was a area. civil servant area. It's like a quarter, staff quarter. Staff quarters. Because the one the, section was for teachers, the other teacher. section was... All these teachers yeah. were under Nairobi City County. Mm -hmm. That time was City Council of Nairobi. City Council of Nairobi. Uh, yeah. ah. So if you, if you see this area, like yeah. the area we are here, Bamboo, it yeah. was purposely for railway, mm -hmm. city councils, teachers. So that's all. So over the years, so right now, is, is it still the case? No, right now things have changed. Yeah. Because the generation come, mm -hmm. the parents who was in this world, Mostly have grown, mostly have retired, so it's just a generation that is changing. So it's mostly no longer civil servant. No, no, no longer civil servant. Yes. And uh, do you guys, are there still people who charge rent or uh, can I come, can I get a rental place? You can get a rental place. Yeah. I can rent you my house. Oh. Mm. So the first civil servant, were they given the house to live in or did they, they buy the They were given the houses. houses. By the city county. So they were given to be like they didn't buy them. They didn't buy the houses. And they were given permanently. They were given permanently. Wow. The thing is, 
each house has a card. Okay. Mm. That card is the one that represents you belong to this house. But these houses are not ours. They are still for the city council. What you owe is just that card. So this card was given back then? They were given back then. So this card shows you're supposed to live here? Yeah, this is your house, V22. Like for me, it's V22, 2220. Mm. That's my house. That's my house now. So... If you go to the records, mm -hmm. the city county, okay. those records are there. Maybe that card be still belongs to my father's name. Mm. But for the generation, when they, things pass, yeah. the dad passes that card to you. You can change that card to your name. And uh, is there any amount that is paid to the city council? Yeah, the city yeah. council, the city council, these houses are being paid 2,200. Oh, 2,200. Yeah. Back then, how much were guys paying for the house? Oh, the houses were cheap. By the time me I grew, that was in the 1980s. We yes. were paying these houses at 350. 350. Shillings only. Oh. But with inflation and uh, inflation, everything. Inflation, everything that comes. And how, what is the size of the room? The size of the room is 10 by. It's a big room. Mm. The small room is 10 by 10. 10 by 10. And the big room is 20 by. So how many rooms inside? One bedroom. Oh, it's a one bedroom. It's a one bedroom. And a Robbie to still get 2,000 for 2,500 for a bedroom is still. You can't get. You can't. It's, uh, it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible. So, um, how has Jerry evolved over the years? Jerry to you? was good. Jerry, people recommended Jerry was a very bad place. Right now? No, those those times. Yeah. And there were a lot of guys who were not good, but to be sincere, Jerry mm -hmm. has changed. People have changed. People have grown. And the likes of tags, meaning Jerry is just being reflected with so many things, but life has changed. People have changed. Let me ask. When Jerry in the 50s and the 60s, mm. Jerry was one of the most premium estate for the Kenyans, right? It was very premium. Like at that time, mm. we, were going, we were just fresh or almost getting independence because Kenya gained independence in 1963. Mm. So the people who got the chance to work as civil servants were among the elite Africans, right? Were the elite Africans. So that means a lot of the, you know, the that back then generation right now um, among the big, biggest people in the country right yeah so among the pe biggest people to come from jerry who are, like okay. who are notable from this area we have the likes of uh, plo lumumba oh plo lumumba yeah he the was one. here the one he was here we have the likes of akina Kagia. and the, uh, the, we freedom have the likes uh, freedom fighter we have the likes like akina chief justice okubasu mm. Okubasu, wow. yeah. They're all born in Jericho. So Jericho has its figures. The cream. Yeah. So, and over the years, uh, about maybe 10 years ago, this 10, 20 years ago, there was a lot of, you know, gang, I don't know, would I say gang or okay, insecurity? Okay, people, people were being associated with gangs because mm -hmm. life changed. But the fact that mm -hmm. these guys, or the guys, we got them, we go with them, we lived with them. So, there's no way you can say there are a lot of guys. It depends. On so you've been here for, mm. you know, you've seen Jerry come from, you know, you've mm. seen it from scratch, from scratch to, you know, to where it is right, right now. It is right now. So what I'm asking is, mm. like people like Shimoli was, was here. So Shimoli was one of the most wanted gangsters in the country at that time. Mm. Uh, and uh, he, he, at some point, he lived here. Yeah, he lived in Jericho. He was born in Jericho. So you, Jericho you, did you see him? Did you? We were, we were even talking to Shimoli. He was our friend. We grew together. So you grew with Shimoli? Yeah. We grew with him. Like, did you see him transformed? And like, Lama, it was, you, you're not really close. We are, after that, mm -hmm. that's where things started changing. So you, with me, mm -hmm. I don't know as you said, with Tips. So did he, like, somebody like him, did he start it around this area? But he was a very perfect guy. He mm -hmm. never did anything in this area. Oh, so he only terrorized different areas? Then back home. Wow. Wow. Did you see him transform to what he was? Mm, you know, with life. Yeah. People change. So it was his secret. He knew very late. This guy is a gangster, but he was a good guy. 
Around I never showed anything in this area. To be sincere. Mm. Amazing. So you also saw Buruburu. You also saw Buruburu change. I saw Buruburu, bro. I saw Buruburu being made. This place. Yes. Like you, where we're stepping. This mm -hmm. metropolitan is Buruburu, Buruburu phase three. I've seen, I've seen it being growing, being built. This place was just. Bear land. Bear land. Until to an extent, Buru Until became extent, one of the Buru biggest estates in, the biggest in this area. Wow. Did, did anything, when Buru started coming up, did anything change around this area? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The lifestyle changed because Buru came with another capacity. Mm. It came with its own class. Its own class. Uh, okay. So, unlike someone coming from Jericho to go and send to Buru. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's an uplift. It's an uplift to you. Wow. Because most of the houses in Buruburu are three bedroom houses. Mm -hmm. And like for us... It was mostly one. Mm, it was mostly one. But we have areas, like here, a place called Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. There's Hong Kong. There's Masasu. They're at Masasu, Belea. Yeah. Those are two bedroom houses. Oh, those are bigger ones. They are bigger ones. So those ones were given to those staffs. Mm -hmm. mm? Who had... High rank. High rank of the work, uh, yeah, the work area. Are, yeah, so I would like I like you to show us around some of these places. I don't know where Shimoli lived. Do you know their size? I know. I know. I know. It's, we have different tenants right now. But if you can mind just showing us mm. uh, Shimoli. We also have who? You said PLO. PLO. Patrice Mumumba, one of the best, you know, uh, orators from Africa and a lawyer from, you know, from Kenya. You know, it's, uh, one of the most renowned, mm. uh, as well as the Chief Justice. Mm. So, so, so guys, let's go and see these places. So guys, uh, a while back there were some, how many were they? They were two. So we had two boys who were shot dead. They were high school students. So you said they were shot around here? They were shot around here. But it was a mistaken identity. Oh, so it was mistaken identity? It was mistaken back then, identity. Yeah. But since it happened, yeah. can't do anything. They are dead. Oh. They're so rest in peace. I wanted to ask, there are so many additional structures. Eh? These are the, called morotos. They are called morotos. Mm. Oh, so they are usually done by. They are usually done by there. Oh. The person who stays in that house. In that area. In that house is the one who. Who, do who would do that? The mm. Who does the extension? Mm, amazing. Chief I want to go to Okubasu. Okubasu. Oh, Jericho Market. Jericho Market is a market. We are growing in this. So this is the Jericho Market. The Jericho huh? Market. Wow. Built in 1982. Wow. It was opened by John Kihara. Uh -huh. He was our mayor by that time. Ah. John Kihara. And it looks uh, really modern. I, I see mm. NMS did some renovation. NMS huh? did some renovation. Mm. I think last year. Mm. Uh, so it's now standard. Very amazing. That's all guys, let's go and see where more. So this is also, Jerry has one of the biggest uh, sporting center where they have very nice field. Yeah. And it has, yeah. it, has really be, it has really created a lot of talent from this yeah. area. Some of the most notable uh, footballers from this area. Nikama Kinana? John Shotolu Koe, Kefa Tasu, there are so many. And the Jerry school, Jericho School is known for Jericho is known for like footballers. Like some the best Vienna. school among the best school in the country mm. in terms of football. So, yeah, let's go on the other side and see where PLO is living. So, Rabai. Rabai. So, Alisa Mea Uko. Kuli Ulmea Uko. Yeah. Yeah, the prominent footballer. Mm -hmm. Oh, the prominent. But he's still around. You go state side. You don't care for that. Come with us, come with us. Kuna John Shoto luko e ule omze tama. Eh, ah, lima na kapale. Luko John. Tese, tese, tese. Kuna John Shoto, apa kuna kuna kifa tazo. Excuse you, ah, you go state. Oh. So this come to you. So you come to you. This is where we had the two bedrooms, as you said, right? Yeah, these are two bedrooms. Okay. And yeah, so those people who had money back then whose family was slightly higher in the ranking of for civil servant, they used to live here. So PLO, PLO was here. The one PLO, Patrick Lumumba, was used to live here. So, so this was the house, right? Yeah, the house. Yeah. They just lived next to the road. It's amazing, it's amazing. And it still looks super nice. Yeah. So guys, we come to the end of our day today. Thanks to you, Ben, yeah. for taking us along. 
Yeah. So nice. if you guys love this kind of content, guys, just uh, leave a comment below, and we'll be taking to you guys to more places. I'm sure there's so many icon leaders that we didn't capture. I didn't get to show you guys the house of Billet Kagia, and uh, but that is my plan. I plan to also show you house for Kibaki uh, in other different areas, as well as other big names in the country. So, guys, today, so we are going to end our day. Our day is still at the same place. We're here at Chachami, and uh, one of the most amazing thing Ben told me I'm really surprised we have one of these um, he was one of the you know most wanted criminals Maderi he used to yeah. have a club around this place yeah I used to have a club around, around this here place. yeah a recreational area uh -huh. yeah it's somewhere there yeah yeah and uh, he, he was the owner anytime mm. he would come mm -hmm. people would get drunk really <laughs> like really drunk <laughs> Because yeah. uh, obvious, all the bills were on him. So in yeah. Kenya, we say kuchafua meza. Yeah. So he can in the middle. I want to jump on a kimbizwa. He can be jammy ruka. To go to the top. Aluminium. Hey. You pass. So we do aluminium. Then the design. Aka. Yes, the bedek wa ikuanga na one way peke. Kuliko na getting in around ruko chini. Esa. Alienda uko akashuti wa pale. Unona pali o garia wa itunefika. Hmm. Eh, alishuti wa around apo. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he, he has it actually is physically safer. Uh, Kitambo Kitambo no Sana. 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 Yeah, yeah. The yeah. guys in your oh. the <laughs> chamber, the chamber. Hey, chamber. Yeah, but they, we used to have also some benches around uh, up and down there. Mm. Yeah. And people uh, when Akikuja, anytime will come. Was I or Baba? I could not tell you, Baba, what I was sober. What one to cut to? It's an interesting story to see how Islands, you know, yeah. have all the fair share of, you know, yeah. building the, the greatest fans. people yeah. as well as, you know, the biggest, you know, the, the gangsters. Biggest gangsters, <laughs> biggest legal uh, yeah, man. lawyers, yeah, the you know, big, the biggest musicians. Yeah. Like a, everybody comes from, you know, most of the biggest people yeah. in Kenya would come from this uh, Islands yeah. and uh, yeah. So many stories to be written. So invite us to your hood and I uh, will be more than glad to share. Yeah. yeah about the other uh, dreaded gangster is called Shimoli is like I was told he never did anything wrong, wrong in that estate yeah. so uh, now these guys are usually very smart in how they live yeah. and uh, yeah so this estate is also a very old one in Eastland uh, you know it's mostly government area uh, it was the most government civil servant right yeah government civil servant and it's still the same right now yeah so mostly yeah. before actually they were built for foreigners mm -hmm. the foreigners who worked for the government okay then uh, after af just uh, the period after independence yeah. some few years mm -hmm. it's when now the civil servants kenyan civil servants oh, they were relocated to, to, to yeah, this they, area yeah they were relocated to these areas yeah yeah one thing i've learned about this you know the initial the houses that were built back then for civil servant uh, what you get to know is the space that they have yeah. you know they kept so much consideration for playgrounds for you know for schools for shopping centers parking. for markets for parking yeah. you know even even though in, in places like uh, Jericho so many people are doing some additional houses so that can make extra income but like there was so much consideration come as compared to right now yeah exactly. you know right now like if people want to make money in every space and i hope uh, despite we need modern uh, structures but i think at least uh, we should borrow a lot from you know the the consideration for space you know look yeah, at the kids exactly. just riding bicycles yeah. you know kids you know going to school just next door there are a lot of schools yeah. and yeah so guys from us we say thank you yeah just uh, subscribe to african traveler because mm -hmm. he's the best blog in kenya yeah. yeah. Guys, see you in the next one and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Peace out.